What is the concentration of carbon monoxide given the provided data at equilibrium? KEQ is 6.29 times 10 to the first power. We have our reaction, or we have carbon monoxide and two hydrogen molecules creating methanol. It is at equilibrium, being able to go back and forth, so it is reversible. First thing we're going to do is write down our KEQ equation. We're going to put the concentrations or pressures of our products on top. We will raise them to the power of their coefficient if one is there. The way this works is we multiply all of the concentrations together as often as they appear. So if it appears twice, we will not double it, but multiply it by itself. On bottom, we're going to do the same thing, but with our reactants. So we'll multiply our concentrations of the carbon monoxide, and the hydrogen gas is raised to a power of 2, because it has a coefficient of 2. We are searching for the concentration, or more likely, the pressure of carbon monoxide. Since these are all being noted as molarities, we're going to go ahead and go with that. We're going to manipulate our current equation so that it solves for the concentration of carbon monoxide. This means that we're going to have the concentration of our methanol divided by KEQ times the concentration of hydrogen raised to its coefficient of 2. We're going to now put all of those numbers that we had before into our equation. It's always best to map out your equation before you start putting numbers into it. Once we know where everything goes, go ahead and place them in. We're going to follow order of operation and use additional parentheses as necessary to make sure that this comes out right. We're going to go ahead and do 0.266 divided by the product of 6.29 times 10 to the 1 and 0.294 raised to the second power. When we do this, we get 0 0.0489 for the molarity of the carbon monoxide. As I said before, it's more likely the pressure, but we're going to stay in the form of molarity for right now.